Yeah, so like the title said, this happened. <laughs> Let me tell you the story. So back in 2018, an awful thing happened to me. An excruciating, traumatizing, horrifying time of my life down in South America where I broke my leg playing squash of all things. Here's the story. I took a month long vacation with my family. We were down in Ecuador. It was a fantastic couple of weeks. I was playing with my kids in the ocean. We were going in the pools. We were taking long walks on the beach, all sorts of fun family time. But I felt like I was kind of losing my fitness. I was eating really well. I was drinking, I was having fun. I was on vacation, right? So after a couple of weeks of that, I'm like, I gotta get to the gym. But I didn't really have a whole lot of motivation. Then this American guy shows up and he's like, hey, I love to play squash. Would you like to play squash with me? And I was like, sure, I've never played, but I play tennis. I'm very athletic. I'd love to do it with you. So midway through the first game, I'm up about six to two and I'm feeling really good. But then I start to feel tired. This is where me being out of shape sort of kicks in, right? And to make a long story short, it's 6'2", it's 6'3", it's 6'4". He's coming back on me at 6'5". Next point, he hits an amazing shot into the corner. I go running, I hit a beautiful backhand. It's going off the wall. He hits it, I gotta turn and pivot, and boom, my ankle rolls. I go down on the entire weight of my leg and I hear a little pop. But I think, you know, I'll be fine. I get up, oh, I can't walk. I must have sprained my ankle. I, I try to play, we try to hit another point, couldn't do it. He's like, man, just, you know, we'll do it tomorrow. Come back, rest that ankle, ice it. So that's what I do, I hobble back. To, <laughs> I had to walk about a quarter mile back to my little apartment where I was staying and I get up to the stairs and oh, ice that thing. The next day, nothing better. It's swelling up, but it's got to just be a sprained ankle, I'm thinking. You know, I've never broken anything in my life and I just rolled my ankle. On the third day, I had to go to the big city to Guayaquil and my wife's cousin's like, just get an x-ray. It's going to cost you 25 bucks. Just see what's the problem and then you'll be done with it, you know? The x-ray comes back. I broke my fibula. And now I'm stuck very far from home, very far from my insurance plan, and I've got to spend a lot of money getting surgery. Luckily, I found a really good physician who did a good job down there, but the surgery was absolutely horrifying. I was actually awake for my surgery. They don't put you out down there. They gave me an epidural, and I think the first time he missed, so I had to get a second epidural. Let me tell you, for the ladies out there, I feel your pain, a little bit at least. And man, that is a brutal experience. That epidural paralyzed me from the waist down. But what was worse is I could hear the drill and feel the vibration going up all of my bones, up my spine as they were screwing these screws into my legs. So it was a brutal, brutal day for me. <laughs> the only thing that saved me was my wife was allowed to actually be in the operating room, which that's a whole nother story but they kind of snuck her in, and that's the kind of thing you can do in those sorts of countries. A few weeks later, I got back to the United States. My leg had swollen up like a cantaloupe. I had an infection. I really thought that if the infection got into the bone, I could lose my leg and I'd never be walking again. So that's why every time I'm out here doing these videos, walking around, playing golf, I appreciate the experience more than I normally would have. They always say you never know what you've got until it's gone. And that was the time I had to really face the fact that I might never be able to play golf or do anything again. Never be with my kids, never run in a park, never, never have any use of my leg. And man, <laughs> that was a wake up call that I had to, number one, be in better shape. Number two, enjoy every single moment that I've got. And I've been, I think I've been doing that. We started this YouTube channel. It's been going incredibly well. I love being out here on the course on Wednesday mornings like I am today with you guys. So everything's been going pretty well. You know, I haven't really felt much pain. There's screws in my leg. I've got six screws in my leg, but it's been fine until the other day, Wade and I were playing golf on a Saturday morning. I looked down at my leg and I've got this big, massive lump coming out of the side of my ankle. And I'm like, that doesn't look right. And Wade's like, no, that's not cool. You got to get that thing checked out. So a couple days later, I get to the orthopedic. He takes an x-ray and this is what we saw. It was pretty obvious when we looked at it that one of these screws is actually backing out of the hardware in my leg. So that means I'm going to actually be having surgery on this ankle. My surgery is scheduled for the middle of November. So what does that mean for the channel? That means for the next six weeks, basically, I will not be able to come back on the golf course. Luckily, the doctor says I should be able to walk only a day or two after the procedure, but I won't be able to play golf or have any really strenuous exercise for at least six weeks, which means the best weather that we're having all year I won't get to enjoy. 
but that's just life, right? The good news is I have a number of videos lined up, videos that I've been wanting to make anyways, comparison videos, some top five videos, things like that. So we're going to have plenty of content throughout this six weeks, and I hope it's worthy of you coming back to the channel and enjoying that content. And I wanna say thank you to the folks who have my back, that have been in my corner, even when I announced that I've got a little health issue, that have been sending some nice comments and sharing some nice words with me. And I need your support more than ever right now because this is gonna be a difficult time for me. I'm not a person that likes being down for the count. <laughs> I'm a very active person. I love being out here, like I said, and doing my thing out here with you. So I need your support. So if you do wanna show your support, there are many ways you can do it. Just literally watching these videos is one way. Interacting, liking, commenting. Another way you can support this show is by buying a piece of our merchandise. I've got Let's Play Through official gear. It's down below in the little carousel below this video. Buy a t-shirt, buy a hat, buy a polo when you play golf. That would help a lot as well. And lastly, we've got channel memberships. If you are a member of this channel, you've already got some pretty cool perks but I'm gonna be amping it up here during the holiday season. We're gonna be doing member-only giveaways. You can be a member of this channel for as little as $5 a month. To do that, just simply hit the join button. It's right next to the subscribe button, or you can hit one of the links in the description of all of our videos. Now, before we end this video, I just wanna leave it like this. I wanna thank you for all the things you've already given me. This is what I get to do every single week, and sure beats digging ditches. I really enjoy it, it's a passion of mine. I think I've got the best job in the world and that's thanks to you. And I hope I will be back here in about six to eight weeks to enjoy it with you again. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. The holidays are coming. I hope you'll enjoy every single moment you have with your loved ones, with your friends, and I hope you do something for you this holiday season as well. Take care of you, I'll try to take care of me, and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.